In this video, we're visiting one of the most beautiful places I have ever seen in my life and it's right here in India. Lakshadweep is a protected conservation area which means the access to this gorgeous place is limited but as you'll see, it's not that difficult to go here if you know how. If you're interested in how to get a permit for Lakshadweep, where to stay, what the food is like and last but definitely not least if it's expensive, make sure to keep on watching until the end. All the basic information is covered in this video with the first impressions of Lakshadweep, India. Good morning from Kochi Airport. My name is Ivana and I am from Bangalore. And right next to me is the beautiful Hi. Kritika. Introduce yourself, my lovely. Hi, I'm Kritika. I'm also a travel vlogger like Ivana. And we are super excited because we are headed to Lakshadweep. to reach Lakshadweep from mainland India is with a flight from Air India which departs daily from Kochi in Kerala to Agathi Airport Lakshadweep. Both Kritika and me had to take a separate flight to reach Kochi from our home so it's a bit of a journey but to be fair after two years of barely any travel it's actually incredibly exciting and fun. A flight ticket from Kochi to Agathi would cost about 5,800 rupees depending on the season. Very soon, we leave the luscious greens of Kerala behind us and enter a beautiful landscape of puffy clouds and blue hues. The total duration of the flight is a little over an hour which is great because it's just about enough to catch up on some reading. In no time however, my eyes start to catch a glimpse of bright turquoise waters and this is where the excitement truly begins to take off. A tiny island with a ring of white and bright turquoise looks absolutely surreal. As my mind tries to process what my eyes are seeing, suddenly the saturation gets amped up and it's like we're flying into one of those gorgeous tropical wallpapers. I've seen pictures of luxury, but always thought they must be at least a bit photoshopped. Trust me when I say that when you see this with your own eyes, it will be even more brighter than what you see on your screen right now. This is by far the most pretty airport I've ever landed and can you believe there's even a herb garden? How cute is that? The first thing that's getting checked is our negative RT-PCR test and our permit. Because Lakshadweep is a restricted area, getting a permit on your own can be extremely tedious. I've looked into it in the past and gave up because it was too much fuss to sort on my own. So here's how to do this. The tour operator, Go Lakshadweep, who brought us here, takes care of the permit process like a pro. All you have to do is give them a few documents and there's no more permit stress for you. We have officially reached the most beautiful paradise in India. Look behind me. It is a little bit raining, it is gloomy, and yet the water is still so beautifully blue. I can't, this is so beautiful. Actually, it's, it's more of an aqua color or more turquoise. I can't, like all the shades of blue on this blue Monday. <laughs> it is Monday today. Now on to the next thing to sort, how to get around Lakshadweep. The main mode of transportation between the islands is by boat. In order to get to the boat, Go Lakshadweep arranged a transfer for us and we get to catch the first few glimpses of that turquoise water from the ground. After a quick drive, we arrive at a dock where our boat is waiting to transport us to Bangaram Island, one of the in total 36 islands in Lakshadweep. As for the population, only 10 of the 36 islands are inhabited and of those 10, just 6 are open for tourism. I'll elaborate a bit more on Bangaram Island when we reach but for now, it's important to know a return boat ride from Agati to Bangaram Island will cost about 6,000 rupees per person. Although we didn't get lucky with the weather and it's looking pretty gloomy, the water is incredible. The closer we reach to Bangaram Island, the more shades of blue and green we can spot. It's like stepping into your dream wallpaper, except it's real and more stunning than you ever could have imagined. Welcome to Bangaram Island. 
The island is completely owned by the Indian government and there is only one resort. For good reason because this is a conservation area which is incredibly rich in natural beauty. Arriving on the island, my heart is bursting from joy. I can't believe India has such a beautiful paradise and I feel so incredibly grateful to share this hidden gem with you. The water is crystal clear, it's impeccably clean and I just can't wait to explore every nook and corner of this place that pretty much resembles heaven for me. the beautiful Bangaram Island and there's only one resort here which is called the Bangaram Resort. It is a government owned resort. You can only get here if you have a proper permit and usually you have to reserve this place months in advance. Sounds tedious? It can be if you decide to do everything yourself but we are here by invitation of Gold Travels. Obviously I will link them down in the description below. Basically they offer really really amazing packages where a night here can cost between 8,000 up to 15,000 rupees, but including all the meals for two people. So for one person, for instance, right now there's a discount happening. It would be 7,000 rupees. For double, double occupancy, it would be 8,000 rupees. And when the prices go up, because obviously the seasons change, then for double occupancy, it would be 15,000 rupees per night including the meals which i think is an amazing deal and then also gold travels takes away all your pressure of getting the permits how to get here the boat ride is separately six thousand rupees but they also include that in their packages and you can book everything through them so basically when you decide to go to lakshadweep you can decide to have a carefree vacation. Look how beautiful this place is. My gosh, this water, it has been raining ever since we arrived on the island. It's still warm as you can see, obviously. Otherwise I would be walking around here in, a, in like with bare shoulders. But yeah, the, the water is still like turquoise. Do you see that? It's so, so beautiful. I really can't wait for the sun to come out and for the weather to clear up a little bit because I think this is going to be insane and it's it's going to blow all of our minds. If you want all of the information about gold travels, I have linked them down in the description below. The easiest way to book through them and to request the prices and packages and those kind of things is to send them a WhatsApp message. They have people stand by on chat um, throughout the day, so it will be super, super easy for you to book a trip here, which is usually, honestly, not an easy place to get to and not an easy place, you know, to, to get a spot but it is like a paradise in India truly 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 incredible in India I can't get over how beautiful this place is after a refreshing welcome drink it's time to see where we'll be staying for the next few days so let's see what the Bangaram Island Resort looks like Surrounded by so much tropical greenery, the amount of rooms in Bangaram Island Resort is limited. Hence, if you want to go here, make sure to book fast because this place sells out like crazy. Despite the weather being quite gloomy, it is actually really nice here and warm. So I changed into something a little bit more comfortable and it is time to check out our room, which is behind me over here. Seeing the room for the first time, I'm actually quite impressed. The stories I'd heard of Lakshadweep all spoke of very humble, rustic rooms, but this is really a great room. It's spacious, clean, and there's AC, which you'll definitely need when the sun comes out. The bathroom is simple, and you do need to know the water smells of sulfur, but with the natural beauty outside, this is all nothing to be worried about. It's a pretty sweet life over here. beautiful beach paradises where I have ever been have been one Jamaica and two Curacao. Lakshadweep is is right up there with those top three. Um, I, I honestly can't choose which place is better. The one thing that Lakshadweep uh, has an advantage of is 
they have amazing amazing fresh home-cooked Indian food here and yeah in that sense luxury wins hands down with the food but in terms of like top beach Caribbean destinations in the world luxury is right up there I am baffled nothing less than baffled to see how incredible this place is we also had the privilege to experience a suite for a night and this is absolutely perfect if you're coming here with your whole family now enough about the accommodation let's check out what we all want to see how many shades of blue can you distinguish in these phenomenal luxury tropical waters Can you believe this is the Arabian Sea? Can you imagine yourself here? What would you do if you were us? Frankly, we just couldn't stop jumping for joy because of witnessing all this beauty. And we couldn't wait to jump in. All these new impressions make you hungry, so let's see if the food is any good too. There's only one common restaurant in the resort and all the food is served here. In your accommodation price, three meals are included per day and of course the chai breaks. Every day there is a humble but extremely delicious buffet of an Indian bread, free papad, two types of rice, two sabzi or veggie dishes and a different variety of dal. For the non-veg people, there will be a non-veg dish available separately. The food was so yummy, fresh and almost felt like we were in an Ayurveda resort. After 4 days of this buffet, I really felt nourished and hugged from the inside. With a full tummy, the best thing to do is go for a walk and explore more of the natural wonders here. In the next episode, when the sun comes out you'll be able to see much more how the water sparkles we chose to stay in Bangaram resort but with go Lakshadweep, you can also opt for the samudra cruise package where they'll take you around three different islands in five days i'll elaborate more on that in the next episode when we visit the nakara island but just know there are multiple packages available and go Lakshadweep will take care of any logistics stress for you This first day of Lakshadweep made all my wildest dreams come true. I expected it to be beautiful but in real life it's breathtaking. And even though the weather would make us wait to clear up, Kritika and me chose to celebrate life in the best way possible here. Basically, run. Oh. <laughs> That's a good shot. Is it really deep? Is it cold? It's no, it's When life gives you rain, wear your swimsuit and get inside the water. Yeah! Your turn now. What are your first impressions of Luxury based on this video? Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, share this video with as many people as possible to let them know how easy it actually is to go to Lakshadweep. This is only part one of a three-part Lakshadweep series. In the next episode, we are going to one of the most beautiful places I have ever been in in my life. And in part three, we are actually going scuba diving. We're visiting a sand bank and we're going turtle watching. Is Lakshadweep better than the Maldives? Stay tuned and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Join 240,000 other subscribers. It's free and you'll get a notification whenever I post a new video. For now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.